Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of The Fragrantition where here if you like to tango, if you like to jive, if you like anything that's different than the norm then keep on watching because this is where I spill the tea on all fragrance reviews, not really reviews, I'm more of a fragrance enthusiast and today I'm behind my little backdrop here because I'm looking at my fragrances there, looking at what I love, looking at what I do. If that's you, then keep on watching. So in today's video, we are talking about Francesca Bianchi Unspoken Musk. This is a fragrance that I bought. It came maybe, was it Tuesday? About a few days ago it came now. So I have been wearing this and I've done a little dent in here. So let me tell you about this. This is the newest fragrance from Francesca Bianchi herself. She is an Italian perfumer living in the Netherlands. She has now, I think, I'm looking, I have six fragrances from her collection. But she has, I think, 12 or 13 I'm not sure. This is the latest one. So what's this about? Well, this is a musk fragrance, but Francesca wanted to evoke. The thing with Francesca Bianchi fragrances, as I've always said, is they evoke emotions within you. And that's what I love about the perfume scent profile. Now this one, I'm going to say, Claude is looking up at me lovingly. I don't know if you can see him or you probably can't. I am going to say this Oh gosh, the things I do for love, the things we do for love. I am going to say this perfume is a musk based fragrance, but there are other things in it. There's immortel, there's a little bit of civet, there's a little bit of castorium. It, it, it has an animalic DNA, but it is a very softer animalic DNA, I would say. This is much softer than, say, Lost in Heaven or The Lover's Tale, which I would say are two of the strongest ones that I have in my Sorry collection. about that. We were having a little moment, Claude and I, and I just had to pause the video. He's okay now. If any of you have Oriental, Siamese, Bengal cats, any cat that is needy, well, any breed can be needy, then you know what I'm talking about. However, back to the perfume. This, as I said, is softer than The Lover's Tale. It's softer than... Um, Lost in Heaven, it's even softer than Angel Stuff. Angel Stuff actually though is a bit of a contradiction in terms, I would say, because it's very boudoir, it's very powdery, but it has this breath to it, this, this breath of airiness about it. This one it sits closer to the skin. There's The longevity is still there, I would say. The longevity is there. It did last over 10 hours on my skin. But this is more. This, this doesn't need to be a projection bubble. Francesca wanted to create a second skin musk-like scent. And this, I would say, she nails it perfectly. I normally spray about two or three, two sprays of Francesca Bianchi perfumes. This one needed about four or five to, for me to really enjoy the scent and to make it last all day. This is buttery, it's oris, it has this musk accord, but the star of the show is this Immortelle. Now, Immortelle is slightly sweet but dry. It's herbaceous. It's It has this kind of like maple syrup quality, just a touch. When you first spray this, it is quite strong. For about an hour, 
and then it comes and sits close to the skin after that. It's nothing like really angel's dust. It's nothing like, it's definitely nothing nothing like Libertine Neroli. It is, I would go as far to say, it's a little bit of a, not departure, but Francesca normally really knows how to do animalics really, really well. And the animalics in this, I think, are very likeable. I think it's a bit more pleasing, maybe, to some. Now, you know I love my animalics, so this, to me, is a very tame animalic. To me, extremely tame. And actually, I would say Lost in Heaven <laughs> is quite a tame animalic compared to um, Salome from Papillon. But this is a toned down animalic, a wearable animalic. It could be a signature scent, animalic scent. It, it merges with your skin. It just melts into within you, into, it's like, a, it's like you, but better. Now, a lot of people said that under your skin or under my, under your skin, under my skin, I can't remember. See, I haven't got that scent because that one didn't really gel with me. This gels with me a lot, lot better. I would say this is you, but better skin with this perfume. Do you need this perfume if you've got under my skin? Maybe not. But you see, under my skin was a little bit, it was too sweet for me. There was this kind of like gingerbread sweetness in there that I didn't really like in that one. Whereas in this, the Immortelle, this everlasting flower, which some people either love or they hate, it gives it a beautiful, soft, dry floral with those animalics and the musk coming through, which is really, really lovely. Um, you could wear this to work, you could wear this out, you could wear this daytime, evening. It's a very wearable scent. If you're looking at other Francesca Bianchi scents, this Angel's Dust, I mean, I wear all of them anyway, wherever I want to. Um, this Angel's Dust and Libertine Neroli are probably, in my collection, the three most wearable scents, whereas Sex and the Sea Neroli and... Um, the Lover's Tale, they're not as wearable. Well, The Lover's Tale is extremely strong. This is, to me, a little bit of a tamed version, down version of The Lover's Tale. Do I like it? Yes. Do I love it? I like it a lot. I wouldn't say it's in my tops. Like, it wouldn't be my top Francesca Bianchi. My top is Angel's Dust. That is my top, um, which I have ordered on its way. The body oil. I can't wait for that to arrive. Can't wait for that to arrive. Finally got going to get the body oil with it. So, to me, that's kind of like my signature from Francesca Bianchi. But if you're looking for a, a soft but wearable, light, yet it projects within your scent bubble, at arm's length, I would say. Um, a musk, slightly dry, herbaceous, but slightly sweet, slightly savoury, almost slightly um, animalic musk. This is perfect, absolutely perfect. So, Performance-wise, I would say it's it lasts 10 hours plus. Sillage, it leaves a little scent trail, but not as big as some of the other Francesca Bianchi scents, in my opinion. And projection, it's probably at arm's length for about an hour, and then it comes and sits closer to you. If somebody was standing by you, I did have somebody stood by me and say to me, you smell quite nice, what is that? So somebody has to be within your vicinity standing next to you to smell this. So this is why I say this is nice and wearable. And I don't like that word nice. It's pleasant and wearable. 
and it's amiable. It's, it's, I would say, don't let the musk put you off because this is, this musk accord, and also it has tonka bean in it as well. So this tonka bean gives it a little bit more sweetness as well, combined with the immortelle. Now the immortel is in the top note, but the immortel to me runs through the DNA on my skin, in my opinion. It kind of like lingers and it stays there and it goes down into the heart. As it dries down, you get that more musk. You get the more of the bit of the powderiness. You get the butteriness from the iris, which is really pretty. So unspoken musk. I am going to speak about this a lot in future videos and I do love it for that. And it's a big, big like unspoken musk by Francesca Bianchi. Have you tried it? Now, I know there are some diehard Francesca Bianchi fans here. You know who you are and you are watching. So comment below if you have or comment below if you'd like to try it because you can order samples from Francesca Bianchi, which is absolutely good. And the service is second to none. The delivery is second to none. I'll link Francesca Bianchi website down below so you can see and her Instagram. She is quite a character. Um, I think I would actually like, even though it's quite sweet, the Divine Perversion, which is another perfume that looks pretty awesome. So until next time, you've been watching another edition of The Fragrantition. Stay safe. Be a little bit foolish because this life has too much seriousness going on, don't you think? And until next time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.